So like every day, basically, I uh, woke up and uh, looked up the important stuff that was happening today, and I saw that the market cap was finally up. We were at like, as you can see, 270 billion, something like that. And now that I have gotten home and wanted to start doing the video, I see, holy shit, uh, again, we went down in the course of a few hours. The market cap was robbed of all the juicy money that was inside the market. So in today's video, we're going to discuss what has been going on in the last few days in the cryptocurrency world. And if you enjoy the content, make sure to leave it a thumbs up and comment down below because among everybody who's commenting, I'm giving away a small amount of Litecoin in each and every of my videos. So good luck if you choose to participate. Now, and when we take a look at the market cap, we'll see that it is a bloody day and probably a huge correlation with the Bitcoin. And it seems like that, as you can see, the big winner today was NEO with a nice increase in price. But man, is the Bitcoin behaving weird. Huge sell off that we have seen here after a, you know, after we have seen such big resistance points around 6,600, um, basically the price wouldn't want to move. And then all of a sudden we saw an uh, avalanche of cash getting into the market. And now we have seen a huge sell off. Interesting, interesting. As you can see, market cap and Bitcoin are really closely related. Um, now, what has been interesting? So first of all, George Soros, Rothschild and big institutional investors are entering Bitcoin market. Interesting, interesting. So after um, all of this talk about cryptocurrencies not being real currencies and, you know, just being the wild, wild west and even in February calling Bitcoin a bubble, they seem to be interested, although I have yet to see an interview with her where, he, where he says in front of the camera, I want to invest in Bitcoin. Basically, you might think about George Soros what you want. Um, he, in my opinion, he looks like an evil uh, Star Wars character. Um, but basically, many people are, he's very polarizing because many people um, associate him with the establishment and Illuminati and uh, evil people having the power. Um, Charles Hoskinson put out an interesting tweet saying Rockefeller source and Rothschild money entering the cryptocurrency space. It sounds like regulations might be getting a bit more lax. Now, as you can see currently, this might have been the reason, in my opinion, the biggest reason why all of a sudden the market cap gone up as to why the market cap has gone down. To be honest, I'm going to take a look at this later so as you can see he called cryptocurrencies a bubble in 2018 until now there hasn't been made a transaction into cryptocurrencies but maybe they are thinking about it right now and are gonna start very soon so vernock the official venture capital arm of the rockefeller family has partnered with crypto investment group coin fund to support cryptocurrency and blockchain business innovation fortune report on april 6 so kind of a long time ago um basically then rock partner david pacman said this so they're not in for the for the short term gain they don't want to moon overnight we're really patient long-term investors we're wondering what happens over the next five to, to ten years can we have fundamental change to a number of different markets because of a distributed ledger a token economy that all participants can take part in so that's in my opinion a very smart thing to do because right now as you know it's a cheap opportunity it's a bargain it's a steal to get into cryptocurrencies if you have not invested yet so this might be the reason why right now van rock and rockefeller money is entering furthermore omisi goes into his partnership with shin han a southern korean bank to pro crypto so basically omisigo is really about the real idea of cryptocurrencies to bank the on bank um omise has been around for a while so that it wasn't like in a ico success overnight so they're uh, focusing 
on really banging the unbanged. So many people in Asia, basically billions of people in Asia who have a smartphone, who have money in their pocket, don't have bank accounts. And that's essentially what Omisugo tries to achieve. And with this step, of course, they have gotten a, they, this of course is a big step for Omisugo towards mainstream adoption. Next up, we have introducing Coinbase Ventures. So what they're trying to do, we'll be providing financial financing to providing financing to co promising early stage companies that have the terms teams and ideas that can move the space forward in a positive and meaningful way so they're going to be new venture capital fund so as i said earlier coinbase president and coo asif hirji we will invest in companies that are in space and are aligned with our values by giving them access to capital we hope that we will grow great businesses it's not about investing in the token it's not about trying to line up tokens that we would uh, that we would put on our exchange they will invest 15 million dollars which compared to the revenue that coinbase has made in the last few months is like probably laughable but okay if they only want to try it out with 15 dollars um the company does not expect to generate any meaningful profits for the venture beyond helping the ecosystem mature now i kind of highly doubt that coinbase would invest into something without expecting anything back any form of profit but i think it's just, it's just interesting to see like of course coinbase has made has made this huge fortune while january and december when cryptocurrencies were very hyped and now of course they have to invest it into more sensible stuff such like angel investing and this is a good opportunity for them next up one more positive signal bullish signal which has been issued on the 6th of April already. So uh, SEO chairman Jay Clayton uh, answered a question, do you think that all ICRs are fraud? And he answered, absolutely not. So this is not a big thing to consider. It's not anything that you should like, uh, you know, open a bottle of champagne at. But as you know, many ICOs out there are really afraid, terribly afraid, of the sec in the us and by saying no i don't think that all icos are fraudulent i think that he's giving out a great bullish signal to everybody in the crypto space next up arizona corporate blockchain bill becomes law again nothing too special in my opinion it's just a very 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 small step towards mainstream adoption as you can see somewhere over here writing or written includes blockchain technology and defined in section 44 um this has been issued um actually unfortunately i can't see when this has been in. oh april 3rd 2018 so again it's not it's only a, a small step but it's a state in the us putting blockchain into their system in my opinion is again one of those small but important step towards mainstream adoption for cryptocurrencies Next up, we have crypto bars, identities sought by Spanish tax authorities. Now, that's something I'm kind of more concerned with because, as you can see, according to sources closely monitoring the situation, Spain, Spain's National Tax Agency has requested to turn over information such as names and trading data from numerous companies, which include banks, security firms, and currency exchange platforms. I'm so sorry. <sighs> In total, authorities contacted more than 60 companies, most of which were merchants, accepting digital currency payments. And um, as a German citizen who really is taken great care of by its government when it comes to um, data and, uh, you know, data identity, security and stuff like that, you really giving me the chills to hear that a, you know, government can just roll out like that and be like oh we want we want uh, names and transactions of 60 different people give them over to us like on the one hand i can understand it because of course for them it's potential tax evasion and money laundering but on the other hand like come on of course they're probably they're not doing it for that reasons but again this shows you to be really careful when you're doing business with cryptocurrencies because even if you don't put it on a piece of paper and you think you're going to get away with it like maybe this might happen to you so be very cautious when you do that and now for the last article of today let's have a laugh together twitter suspends pro bitcoin cash bitcoin accounts so if you're unfamiliar with the whole situation the young man 
The good looking man on this picture is the um, controversial Roger Veer, who's pretty much the boss behind Bitcoin Cash. And he is the owner of Bitcoin.com and the Twitter account Bitcoin. Now, he, apparently the Bitcoin Twitter account abused the shit out of their advantage that they had and only promoted Bitcoin Cash, leading to many people on Facebook reporting them and then simply being um, suspended from Twitter. Like, imagine how much they must have posted over there but there is this ongoing debate between bitcoin core so the bitcoin that we know it and bitcoin cash and to be honest honest it's really getting tedious and annoying and they're big babies big adult babies that needs to grow that need to grow up but it's just a little laugh at the end so guys let's get to the giveaway and um yeah, last video got like 22 comments and uh, as a good YouTuber, I will one more time check if the winner has done everything correctly because I had some people posting from different accounts to different Litecoin addresses and of course I can't have that kind of scammery on my account because that has taken away money from people who have actually been honest and I don't like that. So before I send you the money, Tony Moreno, let me see what your Litecoin address has been doing. Now, if I type in your Litecoin address, we'll see that, oh, you're actually really legit. That's good. That's good. Yeah, I saw Bitcoin Diamond was like, oh my lol, and yeah, hoping Bitcoin recovers soon, so we so we can get this market moving. Nice to hear that, and uh, I guess thank you very much for participating. So con congratulations, you won. Thanks for commenting. Keep up the good spirit. So here you go. Here are two enchanted dollars, two enchanted Litecoin with love from Munich, Germany, coming straight to you wherever you are. So enjoy. And thank you very much for watching, guys. Keep in mind that everything I said in this video is my personal opinion and not financial advice. So good luck investing. Be very thoughtful and very responsible when investing into cryptocurrencies. And see you next time. Bye bye.